Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see the best sunblock in the world. No, maybe it's not the best one, but it is the best one I have found so far. And for me, this is a game changer because it means that I'm wearing sunblock every single day. I tell you that I do that and I used to do that before Retin-A. Every single day I would wear either Clinique City Block, which was a good sunblock, or Neutrogena Dry Touch Sunblock. And when you're not wearing Retin-A, you can wear those chemical laden sunscreens and everything is just fine, your skin is just fine. But when I started using Retin-A, all bets were off those sunblock no longer worked anymore when I would put my makeup on it would peel up or my skin would peel off or my skin would get red and irritated all of those chemical laden sunscreens just don't work when you're into advanced skincare items like Retin-A. So I'm going to tell you the wonderful sunblock that I found because really sunblock is the best anti-ager you can use and if you're not a subscriber and you're really into anti-aging you might want to consider clicking that little bell that just sends you emails so you won't miss anything. But before I get into the sunblock I want to show you two things that I really love. First is these Kendra Scott big earrings and I'm coming to you with no makeup so I did want to be a little fancy in terms of the earrings. I am just loving these big Kendra Scott statement earrings and if you want to learn more you can click the link below. And then in addition to a rather high end pair of earrings I have a very low end top on and this is from Old Navy. My husband calls it Old Lady which is not very nice but anyway this is a look at this top and I really like it and I think it was maybe $12. It's got a really, really pretty little crocheted hem on it. I wish I could stand back so you could see my jeans. Oh well, I just have it on with jeans and I really like it. And in terms of summer tops, I think after about a season they turn into rags anyway. So why not save a little money on your tops? And if you'd like to see all Old Navy's off the shoulder tops, I put a link below the video so you can go and look around. Okay, let's get into the sunblocks. Now I'll begin by showing you the things I was using with my Retin-A and I really didn't like them. I thought they were the best out there and I saw other YouTubers and they really liked these so I was using these but quite honestly they were not very good. The first sunscreen that I started to use after starting Retin-A was this Exuviance and it's a plus 50 but it's $42 for this little bottle but even more than that it is oily and it just seemed like even though I would put it on my skin and maybe wait 10 to 15 minutes I would put my foundation on and later in the day I could kind of still feel that that clammy sunscreen was on there and it really made my foundation kind of wear off. I really didn't like this very well. And this was a little bit better than the Exuviance, not quite so greasy because it does say non-greasy, but it was still very slick feeling, very wet feeling, and I just did not like this at all. Now the next thing that I tried was this Sheer Zinc Dry Touch Sunscreen, and again it's a plus 50, and the reason I thought this would be good is because in my pre-Retin-A days I would use that Neutrogena Dry Touch Sunscreen, and I thought, you know, they have a lot of sunscreens, they must know what they're doing, so I tried this. And I'm going to show you how this looks on the skin, and this was a total fail for me. I'll shake it up a little bit but this is a zinc sunscreen and the problem with zinc sunscreens is this and this is not anything that you want to have on your face in the morning and just to blend that in was just horrible. I think I used this two mornings and I just completely gave it up. It is still greasy and grimy and white. I just look like I should be a 16 year old you know guard at the pool or something. I mean look at that. That is just not cosmetically elegant as they say. Just awful. Okay, now I got that stuff off my face. Well, the problem with all of these sunscreens was non-compliance for me. Even though I knew I should be using them every day, and ladies, if you're anything over, actually if you're anything over 20, you should really wear sunblock to protect your skin every single day. And because these other sunscreens were so gooky and awful, I was starting to have days where I'd say, you know, I'm not really going to be out in the sun, I don't think I'll wear sunscreen. And I know better. Well, around the same time I used this horrible stuff for a couple of days, I was contacted by the Colorescience people, and I am not sponsored, I received nothing for this, but they wanted to send me their Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield 50, and I was kind of excited about it because, you know, I was really having a struggle finding a good sunblock. Quite honestly, though, I didn't think that this would be any better than the rest of them, and I told them that. I said, you're welcome to send it to me, and if I like it, I'll do a video. Otherwise, you know, you probably don't want me to do a video because I'll just pan it. So that was the deal that they would just send it to me and I would test it out and from the first morning I used this it was amazing. I absolutely love this sunblock. You have to shake it up but not nearly so much as you had to shake the other and it comes out and looks like this. Basically looks like a little bit of a, a uh, foundation and it is zinc 
So you do have to blend it in a little bit, and I always come down on my neck. And even though it starts out white, very, very quickly it just blends into your skin. And within about 10 minutes, it gives your skin a nice little matte, almost foundation look to it. It's really, really amazing. And how I use this is that in the morning, after I wash my face and I apply my vitamin C serum, I go ahead and put this on, and then I come to my makeup room and do my hair. And about 10 minutes after I put it on, 10 to 15 minutes, I go ahead and finish with my foundation. And it absolutely just makes a beautiful finish for foundation. It doesn't pill up. It is not oily. My foundation stays on all day long. Absolutely love this stuff. And since I have to put on foundation anyway, I'll go ahead and make myself up while I'm talking with you, or at least I'll put the foundation on. So you can kind of get a sense of how the sunblock works with foundation, and it works absolutely beautifully. And the price of this is not too bad. It's like $39, and it lasts about 90 days, which I think for a good sun protection, that is so worth it. And I'll take a little Urban Decay All Nighter and spray my brush here. Because really, sunblock is the best anti-aging thing we can do for our skin. And a lot of people think, you know, at my age, which I am, well, I'd say late 50s, but I'm 60. People say that I just had naturally good skin. Well, the reality is I did not necessarily have naturally good skin, although I do have oily skin. So it is probably good in that sense. It stayed a little more moisturized over the years. But when I was about 30, a girl in my office said, Beth, are you wearing sunblock every day? I said, Jeannie, I didn't think you needed to wear sunblock every day because, you know, I'm not out in the sun every day. And she said, Beth, even going from your car to your house to your office, you're going to get sun exposure and it's just really good to get in that habit. So when I was, actually it was probably, I was about 35. But I started that and I think it made a huge difference in the look of my skin over time. So for those of you younger viewers out there, you know, no matter what your age is, even if you're in your teens, the absolute best thing you can do for anti-aging at any age is to wear sunblock. Okay, that was a look at the Color Essence Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield. Absolutely love this sunblock. I think it's the best sunblock in the world, or at least in my world. And again, if you're not a subscriber and love all things anti-aging, just click that little bell so you won't miss anything. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I'm going to be using Louise Hayes Power Thoughts cards. Okay, let's see what power thought we can think about today. Okay, I am at peace with my age. Uh, I am at peace with my age. I can't even say it. Each age has its own special joys and experiences. I am always the perfect age for where I am in life. Friends, what a wonderful card. I am at peace with my age. That's a wonderful affirmation because in this society, sometimes it feels a little strange to get older because we feel like maybe we're moving out of the mainstream and moving out of all those ads and all that. But who cares about the ads? When we get a little older, we have grandchildren. I don't have any yet, but I can hardly wait for that. We have grandchildren. We have adult children. We have freedom to live our lives with or without spouses. And in the second half, we have the joy of having even more time to do the things that fulfill our own hearts. So friends, just as for today, let's be at peace with our age, no matter what that age is. Let's realize that every age has its own special joys and experiences, and let's embrace where we are right now in life and be grateful for every minute of every hour of every day. Take care. See you next time.